Katrina. All right, Miss Katrina, it's your turn. Okay. Oh. Hi, hi, hi. Like he wanted to run away, did he? Uh huh, but we got it. Okay. You have eight. Part says. Okay. okay. It says if you're willing to deal with the past, you could make the moment you are in rest. How many know who said that? Yeah. Our life lesson with Oprah Winfrey. Oh, wow. She said that? Yeah. So you got it. You got to dig in on this because you know she. She digs in. She digs in the sober, though. That's right. So if you're willing to deal with the past, you can make the moment right here, right now, you are in rich. Okay, when it says dig into the past to make this moment richer, when you're talking about digging into the past, it's talking about the good things, the bad things, all different kind of things that happened to you in the past. But if you let it get a grab hold of you to hinder you from any footsteps or anything you want to get to, it's a bad thing. Because you let that one bad thing or one thing happen to you to hinder you from digging into anything your mind and heart desire. Like I said one time before, accept those things that you only can change and nothing that you can change or do anything, but you can change it if you really want to change it. But you got to have a strong mind, body, and soul, and spiritually to change it. Because like me, for instance, a, a little quote, my whole neck was sliced, cut to the death. They, they wanted to cut my juggler vein. They, they were robbing me. I didn't want to give up the pocketbook. So I didn't give up the pocketbook, so I just walked on. Next thing I know, one grabbed me one side, one grabbed the other side, another sliced the throat. And I walked, because they left me there bleeding, blood just draining off the sidewalk. My neck was open up. So I had to walk to the phone booth and call 911 myself. Because nobody, everybody just walked by me like I was a nobody. So when you say about make things richer, if I had to let this hinder me, I would have been dead. That's it. Guess what she said? What? When you said it, when you said it's about you doing it, Miss Oprah Winfrey says the buck stops with me. The buck stops with you. And that's what you said. So you know what? You got it. Thank you. Now, let's tell me how you rate, Miss Katrina. I would say A because she was being herself. She was talking about how she understands what she's been through, with something she's experienced in her life. And she understands I'm taking, I'm not, I'm not going to let what happened to me define me. I've been through something, and she said I'm keeping going on. And she said it did, she also talked about don't let it hinder you. And so she's saying as I move every day, I remember what happened, but I, I have a positive awareness because I survived it. She says I believe you know, life was in me. I took from that, and here I am. And I didn't let it hinder me. You know, and she kept the motion, so, so she didn't try to bury it. You know, and that's good. Karen, give her 10. 10. Why you give her 10? Because I've been there. Tell me about that. Not today. It's all right. It's alright. Yes, cleanse. It's alright. Miss Baby? Why you give her to Miss Baby? Oh, she cried. Hmm? She cried. She cried. Hi. What does it mean to you? It to, deal with your, to deal with your past. In order to make the moment sit right here. Okay, and this shall go plan and go old again. This morning. Okay. But you know what? What you just did, 
what she just did, that's a matter of the heart that is already spoken. Don't need no words. Miss Mary. Yeah. My wise one back there. Okay. I'm going to give her a 10 because I've been where she is. Not particularly with the throat. But when I was eight, my body, my clothes was going on fire. And I went to three major surgeries for skin drain. I had second and third degree burns. The only thing is, the stars in the front, and I was running for my mother, but it never got any further up here. Okay, three years ago on Christmas Eve, God took my mother home. She was my best friend. Six months later, in 09, he took my husband home. So, those two, well, I was really haven't dealt with my burn issue, but I've been dealing with it, and now I'm going to see a site to deal with the death of my two loved ones. They were real close. They were my backbone and my soul, so I'm dealing with it. It's not great. It's not good, but as long as I got God on my side, I can move on day by day. You know, so I give her a 10. I commend her very highly for being able to tell what she has went through and to have anybody else that's went through what she has went through to be able to witness themselves and to be able to talk about it. As long as you can talk about what you've been through, it's a healer. And all of you, none of, none, none of us here have arrived. But we have to always, and this is what she said. She's literally saying a special word that, all, that has always got me through. I cannot say that I've arrived. But one thing that I do is I press. You know, sometimes I crawl it in uh -huh, to reach a higher place of excellence in me and what I'm called to do. That's what she challenges us to do. She knows to deal with her past, to deal with your past, you got to do that because when you do, you all have enjoyed playing this game with smile because somewhere in there you have learned to count the joy and keep pressing. You may not, you may not make the mark, but you're doing that, and you've learned how to make our joy out of your chaos, out of your confusion as you deal with that past. That is what she's talking about. She's not talking about the fact that you are here. She's talking about where are you in you? Have you learned to do that? Start with you. Okay, it starts with you. I want to read something though. I know, I see the tears, but it's good. Because I, this one was deep. It's really a real deep life lesson that we do every day. Everybody must do this. Because you're doing this. You deal with your past and you're doing this. It's almost like doing the, the electric slide, right? <laughs> Let's see what acts of faith a lot of them have said with this. Yes, my dear, I'm sorry. Okay. We are products of our past, the environment of our childhood. For those of us who had painful childhood, we're determined to get away from our memories, and we cannot. Our past is a part of our today, and we carry it in our hearts. We model what we saw, heard, and experienced as children. It is called a pattern. We do what was done to us, and we behave the way we saw others behave. Unwittingly, with a great deal of denial, we repeat the physical, the emotional and mental patterns set by our family. And the only way to stop the cycle or to break the pattern is to go back and deal with the pain. We must relive the memories before we can erase them. 
and we must confront the people in our minds and say now what we could not say then. We must explore the feelings, unpack the guilt, and free ourselves from the baggage we picked up at home. Ladies, the buck stops with you, and it stops with me. Pretty good? But remember something, because that, that one statement, I keep hitting on that, the oversight, when you deal with your pain, you can look and talk about that tragedy, but guess what? It don't hurt. It don't bother you. And that's why the moment that you're living in has become so rich because you dealt with it. You can go back there, but it's not going to do what it's doing here. Or the summer. Okay? And that's where you want to get where she said. But remember, remember, if you don't remember a life lesson today, remember those decisions to do that, to go back, it stops with you. You can go to counseling all you want. You can pray all you want. But until you deal with that pain, the pattern of your past, you will not be enriched in your moment. So just take one piece as she said, the buck stops with you, no one else. It doesn't even start with God. You all are praying, and he's doing this. Well, I'm waiting for you to go up in there. I'm already there. See, you you have this conception that God going to do it up. No, he doesn't. He's waiting on you. He's saying the buck stops with you. Get in that pain. Get in that pattern. I've already given you the power. That's why she doesn't say the buck stops with God or anybody else that stops with you. Okay? So if you don't get anything else today, please get that. In everything you do, it begins with you. Okay? And we already see how enriched, and I'm not talking about money, that she lives. Or environment. Okay? So you have one statement, the box stops with you, and she's given the instruction. Go in your pain. Go in your path. Deal first with your thoughts and your feelings. I am old, the box stops with me. I am open hearted. My name is Katrina. The box stops with me. I am optimistic and I am open. The buck stops with me. I am Karen. I am organized. I am old. Hi, my name is Mary and I am old. I am obedient to God and the buck stops with me. I am old, I am old, and see when I feel and I think about the letter O, the, vib the vibration O calls upon the original channel that which it began in me, and, and it calls upon me to remember, you understand what I'm saying, calls upon me to know, and these words flow out of my spirit because I am opulent, I always am rich with mad treasure and I drop science everywhere, I'm opulent because there are rivers and streams of beautiful curtains you cannot see past me you understand what i'm talking about i'm talking about organized i like things exact because you gotta have things organized because it makes the rhythm flow oh you're not feeling it right now see when i'm optimistic that means nothing can tongue me down do you understand do you feel the old vibration of what god is talking about optimistic optimism it fights it's more powerful the word positive. Do you understand? I'm omnipotent because the great trials are overcome. I know God is with me, guaranteed to be with me. I'm omnipotent because God said, I am with you, and you can do all things through me. And I am open hearted because I love, I love, and I have mercy unceasingly. That's right. How can you not be open hearted? How can you not feel another's pain? I will relate to you and be real with you. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm humble. And I am submitted to God. I love God. I'm able to be great, but I'm able to be humble because I've been birthed to it. You understand? I'm obedient.
to God. Always a quick 